practice. <laughs> Morticians? Just scratching your head, right? Yeah. Any, any harmonica players? Uh, any harmonica jokes? <laughs> any bass players? I got one guy with two arms. <laughs> one, two, yo. yo. Plays a double yo. bass. Any drum guitar? <laughs> I have to kind of swing up here at times to try to get some pictures from the state so I'm going to try to swing up here and I'll get to the next one. How's everybody doing today? Great. Good day, I guess. Is it, is it raining yet? No. Hi, everyone. Hey, Paul, let's, let's do a quick run through of all the interview mics, just real quick. Hi, it's Howard. Can you hear me? Uh-huh. Okay. Is that good? This is Victor. You guys got me in there in that control room? Cool. Thumbs up. Mm-hmm. This is Bela. Hello. 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 And hello, hello, hello. Future, future, future. Future is right now. <laughs> testing, <laughs> testing. Oh, all good. Yeah. All right. We need the station. Come on. Five minutes till three o'clock, and we're going to throw it to our performance space for a very special members only concert hosted by James Bickers. Thank you, Stacy. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. And as she said, it's a members only show. Members are only in the room here. Saying so thank you, folks, for doing that. Uh, if you're not a member, you didn't get an invite. If you'd like to be a member and you're not, go to wfpk.org and find out how. Without any further ado, it's my great pleasure to give you Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tones. Thank you. 
How about that? Pretty good. Pretty good. I love watching the audience watch you guys because you guys just make people so happy. You know, just big smiles all across the room. You can't be sad listening to this band. Um, you put the band back together. It's the original lineup. Can you talk about that? What that experience has been yes, like? After can, all the time? We can all talk about it. Sure. It's been a great year. Uh, you know, this band started right here in Louisville in 1988, thanks to the, uh, the wonderful Dick Van Cleek who invited me to do a show here. And he was doing so many amazing things. I really think he made Louisville a musical center for a lot of people and uh, taught a lot of people about great music in this town. So we have a big debt to him, especially in sort of the, the modern bluegrass scene, the new grass revival, uh, Mark O'Connor, Jerry Douglas, this whole world. But a lot of, in a lot of other ways, Dick really was thinking way ahead of his time. Anyway, he offered me the chance to put together a banjo show and nobody had ever given me that kind of uh, carte blanche. <laughs> hey, let's, you, you have an hour to do anything you want on public television. And so this is what I wanted. <laughs> so that's the story okay but now <clears throat> so we, we became a band and we were together for I think about four years depending when you start counting um, but Howard left at the end of 92 to do other things <clears throat> and we continued on without him and have been together the whole time um, and about three, uh, two or three years ago Jeff Coffin who has been playing with us for many years a wonderful uh, sax player <clears throat> and a lot more um, uh, took a job filling in in Dave Matthews' band when their saxophone player died. And we encouraged him to do that, thought it was a great thing for, for, for Jeff and, and good for the Dave Matthews' band to have someone like Jeff at that time. Um, but that left a hole in our band. And so when we were ready to play together again, um, we, we, the three of us got together and we said, well, the first choice would be to see if Howard would be interested in doing this again. And so, to make a long story short, he, he did and we all agreed to do a year together and today is the last day of that year. Full we, <clears throat> so that's that's the basic thrust of the sitch. So so that gives special significance to tonight's show at the Brown, right? It's an emotional. No, I wouldn't say so. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to be rid of him again? <laughs> Twenty years is a good long time to be doing anything. How's your audience changing? If it is, what are you seeing? They're a lot older. Isn't it? They're growing up. <laughs> a lot of them are dead. Yeah, they're growing up. They're growing up. Yeah. No, no. Actually, our audience has, has uh, every, there's youth keeps coming in to make it bigger. It's, mm. it's crazy, and I, I'm not exactly sure why we've appealed to uh, such a broad audience, but it's been wonderful to see, honestly, um, kids, in, uh, like kids in even elementary school, up through high school. Thank you. This is my, I usually drink some vodka around this time. Maybe someone else can talk. <laughs> hey, you know, I was just going to follow up with yeah. you when you said the kids grow up. Some of those kids are kids like Chris Teeley, you know, the Punch Brothers, and they grow up and they keep this thing going. And so it's pretty cool to see that you've, uh, you know, impacted people, inspired people to, to really light their flame and run. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. Well, I'll never forget the first time I saw you guys. It was also at the Brown Theater. I guess it was 10 or 12 years ago. And among many other extraordinary things, Victor was the first time I'd ever seen a bass solo get a standing ovation. And a loud and a long one. Does that still happen? Um, yeah, but not, not only with me. Yeah. There's a, I mean, there's a bunch of wonderful basses out there, which is you know, what my inspiration has been with people like Jocko, right. Stanley Clark, Bootsy Collins, Paul McCartney. Right. You know, there's a lot of bass players that have done a lot with the instrument and kind of paved the way for me. Yeah. Humble, isn't he? You would That's think just, a guy I mean, who play like that would be humble. I'm, I'm just telling the truth. Yeah, I appreciate that. Well, we appreciate your time. You know, I've got a couple more songs you here You have to for be you. really good to be this humble. Is that right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> who is it that Paul McCandless used to say? Who is that Paul McCandless Yeah, Paul McCandless You're, you're not good enough to be humble yet. Yeah, no. you're, you're not good enough to be that humble. <laughs> I'm going to make a good song. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, have a great show tonight at the Brown Theater. We appreciate what you do. Once again, Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tones, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>
Maybe we're an acoustic band after all. <laughs> <laughs> we got one time for one more, is that right? Okay. 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 Uh, we're going to do a tune from our new uh, rocket science album. This is called Falani. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Tones, everybody. Thank you. It's a very special night with these guys at the Brown Theater tonight at 8 o'clock. WFPK.org for more details. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for your time and your, your skills. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Thanks, you guys. Yeah.